Hello everyone, today we will present you what we discovered in Netherlands and Denmark. We know that we have only few years to change the way we live. The depletion of natural resources and the catastrophic evolution of Earth's climate force us to recognize that we can't keep behaving this way. First, waste. There is multiple ways to reduce our waste. But in order to do that, we have to rethink and redesign the way we produce, consume and behave. I know that the planet's in trouble, I know that I need to act differently, but where do I start? So if you take a whole city and you scan it, you can find incredible opportunities to uh, put waste back into use and therefore retain its value. And you can sort of think about the same thing in terms of skills, uh, services, um, employment. Uh, all of this becomes a sort of circular economy. For example, redesigning the manufacturing process like Fairphone or phone blocks to initiatives who help pre-sync the way we produce through mobile phone markets. Here's the first one for the first time. <laughs> Hello, Maman. <laughs> Or we could recycle like Better Future Factory with their project Perpetual Plastic and Refill. They enable you to recreate scenes out of plastic waste by recycling different types of plastic into filament for 3D printers. Otherwise, we could just use waste for other purposes. Rotorzoom is growing delicious mushrooms on coffee waste and sharing the knowledge to let any coffee drinker become a mushroom grower. How can our waste build capital rather than reduce it? This is the principle applied in industrial symbiosis. For example, the margins and interface approach on their product is to lease it instead of selling it. The approach is to recreate new products out of old ones through a recycling process creating no waste. What if you can't recycle or reuse all your product? Maybe your neighbors can. This was the initial idea in Kalenburg when they created industrial symbiosis. The Kalenburg symbiosis is an industrial ecosystem where residual product of one enterprise is used as a resource by another one. All this in a closed local cycle. In nine factories with 48 exchange of different waste, they reduced their CO2 emission by 300 tons each year. A real model for sustainability. Anyway, When we talk about sustainability, energy is the key. To learn more about it, we went to Samsu, the first self-sufficient island based on 100% renewable energy. It all started 10 years ago with four wind turbines crowdfunded by the inhabitants through shares. Due to the success of the first wind turbine, the municipality invested into offshore wind turbines. They produced over 50 times more energy than traditional ones. And today, we can feel sustainability everywhere, starting from the highest rate in the world of electric cars per inhabitant, to the farms and even the Gulf. In the next episode, we will present you the social innovation from our northern neighbor, Norway, Sweden and Finland. Bye bye.